nice how I go at that. Just get a bit of that crispy, crispy. Beautifully cooked there. Delicious. All right, how are you doing? So we're going to make some fish and chips today. Now, I'm not making a traditional fish and chips like in England. This is a breaded type of fish we're going to be doing. My kids really, really love this one, and so do I. Serving that with some big fat chips. Lovely stuff. Welcome back to How to Cook Great. Okay, so let's start off by taking a look and a little chat about fish. This is dory fish that I'm using. It was frozen. I defrosted it. Got some you know, uh, paper towel, kitchen towel, and sort of dampened it down and got a little bit of, you know, the moisture from it. And then I just cut it down the middle. So there was three fillets, and then I've just cut it down to these shapes here. You can cut it exactly how you want. And you can use any fish you want. Cod, haddock, anything goes, really. I'm just using this. It's nice and cheap, really versatile. So I've got some breadcrumbs there. I've got three eggs beaten there, and I've got some flour. I'm using just a regular plain flour, wheat flour. You could, if you want, use corn or something like that. Bit of salt and pepper, in that goes, just to season that up, so give that a little mix. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start dipping, 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 and then frying, frying, frying. Okay, so what you do is you go wet, dry, wet, dry. So the fish is considered to be wet. So we're gonna stick it in the dry, into the flour. So it's now dry. So what we do now is we make it wet by dropping it into the egg. So it's now wet. So we now drop that into the dry, which is the breadcrumbs. And then we're ready to go. So let me get this all sorted out. Now I've made a big mistake, so I've used both my hands. It's, you should just use one hand really. Uh, one, one for the wet and one for the dry. So I should be using this hand for that and this hand for that. Otherwise you end up getting it all over the shop. But beautiful, that's it, ready to roll. Let me finish them off. Okay, there you go, beautiful, look at that. Really, really nice. And like I say, yeah, if you use one hand for dry and one hand for wet, then you don't end up, it just builds up all on your hand if you're using the same hand. You just get a massive, massive build up on your hands, which is, not very professional, but there you go. Right, let's go over to the cooker. So I've got a couple of centimetres, or an inch or so, of oil. I'm using a sunflower oil, you can use a different oil if you want. Just drop a few breadcrumbs in there. That's looking good. Now, you don't want this oil massively hot, okay? If it's too hot, you're just gonna burn all the breadcrumbs and the fish will be raw inside. So that oil is hot, but it's not crazy, crazy hot. That's my tip for you. I think I can get one more in there. So it's on a medium heat. We're gonna go for about six minutes. Okay, and so for my chips here. So I've got like four centimeters of, I'm using vegetable oil, you can use any oil you want really. Don't use olive oil, but corn, you know, canola, something like that works. That is getting nice and hot. My potatoes, now we're making big fat chips today, nice and chunky. What I've done is I peeled them, cut them into nice big chunky pieces, and then I parboiled them. So I got them in some cold water with salt, and then I let them boil just for about five minutes. That oil is looking good. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. Right, in they go. Going to cook these for about seven or eight minutes or something like that. You know what we're looking for, don't you? Big fat chips. Okay, and that's kind of where I like my ones, just about there. You can do them lighter or darker if you want. Gonna fetch these out. Now, because they're so big and fat and chunky, 
the part boiling really makes sense if you put them in that big raw they're just probably not going to be cooked on the inside are they so there you go big fat chips kids are going to love these okay and there you go lovely beautifully crispy in that on the outside nicely cooked and soft on the inside big fat chips who could want more lovely stuff i'll see you soon lots of love Thank you so much indeed for watching our videos. It means a great deal to us. Please do hit the thumbs up for us if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't, I suppose. Yeah, don't do that. Just do that. Um, yeah, and subscribe to us. That would really help us out a lot. We just hit 100 million views. We're very excited about that. We would love if you could support what we're doing. We don't do any ads or endorse any products at all, uh, even though we're offered it quite a lot. A lot of it rubbish, to be honest. But um, yeah, we, we, we don't want to be doing that. So we've got a little PayPal thing. If you want to buy us a coffee, just a couple of dollars or whatever you want, you can just follow the link, which should be about here now. And uh, yeah, pay me some money. I'm broke. Lots of love.